Anderson and today's pop-up tutorial is going to combine two of my favorite pop-up dies, the zigzag insert and the scalloped circle insert to make a really cool Father's Day card. I cut my card and both pop-up dies out of one piece of pattern paper. For the zigzag, fold it in half, work the two little diagonal folds, and then reverse them so that they fold inward. The zigzag can be attached with a tape runner. Just coat one side of the pop-up die with tape runner and then get that inside the card lining up the fold of the zigzag with the fold of the card. Then once you have one half in, repeat for the other side. Once your zigzag is in, then it's time to work all the folds of the scalloped circle pop-up. Just do them slowly, one by one, until you can get both of those tiers operating. Now I'm going to take my scissors and trim it down just to get that little mechanism in there because where I want this to go is actually between the two little pop-up platforms in my zigzag. I'll even cut off those little scalloped edges. I really just want the mechanism. Once again, a tape runner is all I need and then get it inside the card. Now I've combined both those dies inside the card. I'll use the new flagpole banner and sign making sizzlet to create a couple poles for my card. I'll make a sandwich with my cutting plates and run it through my Big Shot. The pole itself has three little sections and what's best is if you coat it with adhesive and then add your little finial top in the center section before you fold up the two outer sides. That will trap your top in there and give you a really nice reinforced pole. Those hold up great on the pop-ups. I attach the poles to the front of those two zigzag platforms. Then I'll add a little mini glue dot to my forwardmost platform and add my jalopy. Once my car is attached to the front of that pop-up platform, then you can see how the whole scene is coming together. Okay, back to my banner sign pole making strip to cut some of those banner pieces. I'll use some die cut letters and then run it through my Xyron X machine. Since they're sticky, I can then just wrap them around the twine and they will stick to themselves. I decorated the front of the card with a few pre-made embellishments and die cuts and then added a greeting inside. And my finished card is all ready to go in the mail to wish Dad a happy Father's Day. Thanks for watching.